So I bought this book a long time ago, and I didn't quite know what I was saving it for. But when I got to the library today, I saw it and I realized that I think it was supposed to be for today. So this story is called A Shelter for Sadness, and it's written by Ann Booth and David Litchfield. And I'm going to share it with you now. A shelter for sadness. Sadness has come to live with me, and I am building it a shelter. I am building a shelter for my sadness and welcoming it inside. I am giving it a space to sit or lie down, to curl up very, very small, or be as big as it can be to run around or stand still, to be very, very noisy, or very, very quiet, or anything in between. In this shelter, my sadness can turn to the wall or look out through the window, in the middle of the night or in the day. The windows will open to let sounds in or close to keep them out. The shelter I build for my sadness will have light from the sun or from the moon and stars, but the windows will have curtains that my sadness can draw when it wants to and light if it wants from candles or lamps. Lots and lots of light or no light at all. My sadness can sit in darkness if it wants to, whatever it feels like. Because this is the shelter for my sadness, and it has a right to be there. And I will make my shelter strong, so that in winter my sadness will be safe against the storms. But I will give it a little garden too, so that in spring birds will come and build their nests, and green shoots will peek through the dark earth. In summer, roses will bloom, and their scent will steal in under the door, and my sadness can open the windows and breathe in and smell them, if it wants to. In autumn, my sadness can look out at the trees and cry when the leaves turn red and orange and fall to the ground, or it can go out and run through the leaves and hear the sounds they make. It can build bonfires and dance around them, or sit quietly and watch the flames. Anything it needs to. Sometimes I will visit my sadness in its shelter every day, every hour if needed. And sometimes we will run into each other's arms and hug and cry and talk. And sometimes just sit next to each other saying nothing. Sometimes I will be too busy to visit my sadness for a while, but that's okay too. I have built a shelter for my sadness and it is safe inside and nobody will hurt it. I can visit whenever I need to, whenever it calls to me. And whenever my sadness wants, it can come out of its shelter and hold my hand. And we will look out at the world and discover how beautiful it is together. Hope that helps you today.